So once again, here's the math according to the CDC. 1,604,862 reported cases in the United States. That's up almost 26,500 from yesterday. Uh, 94,965 dead. That's up 1,400. 306,000 plus recovered. That's up 5,700. And joining me now to discuss what's happening on the front line of this battle, our chief medical uh, editor, Dr. Corey Abair. Hi, doctor. How are you? I'm doing all right, my friend. It's been a long day. Oh, man. I tell you, but we're, fight, we're fighting a good fight. That's fighting it. That's fight. it. Hey, tomorrow's Friday. What are you going to do, right? Exactly. Um, let, let's begin with the uh, administration's Operation Warp Speed. What can you tell us about this new vaccine that's being fast-tracked by uh, AstraZeneca, uh, developed by Oxford University, folks there, uh, backed with $1.2 million from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services? Well, I'll tell you, Operation Warp Speed is going to be going in warp speed. But what I want always for people to remember is that the vaccine must be safe, the vaccine must be effective. And without those two things, it doesn't matter how many how many vials they have, people will not take it and it will not get licensed. And what I want people to really remember is that we want a vaccine that works. We want the vaccine that is safe, but we cannot rush to get one. And I will uh, harken back to 1976. Fred, uh, I know you were born by that time. They had the swine flu, questionable swine flu mm -hmm. outbreak, and they rushed to get a vaccine. 25% of the population of the United States actually got the vaccine. 32 people died from the vaccine. Hundreds of people got Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is an ascending paralysis, and they could no longer walk or move their arms. And only one person died from the questionable swine flu. It was a soldier from Fort Dix, New Jersey. So what I'm saying is that we have a huge uh, hurdle to jump to make sure that we will have a safe vaccine. And they can do, they're making all this, they're making all these vials and all these companies are doing it and it's, we're spending a lot of money because we need a vaccine. But just remember, of the 100, 100 and some odd uh, companies that are making it, maybe one of these things is gonna work. But, and, and then of all the, the, the billions that we've spent on it, they'll all be thrown away because they don't work. And I hopefully, and, and historic uh, distrust that African-Americans have with vaccines, it's gonna, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a lot of African-Americans to be in those studies, which also makes it difficult because we need to be in the studies to know if the medicines work. And that's, that's just, it's just a hard place to be right now. Yeah, and, and to bolster what you said, it's reported they, they intend to have millions of doses ready by the end of this year. But the clinical trials, I, I, I just don't understand how they can pull that off. They can't. And, and mm -hmm. do you, you know, Moderna, they came out with a vaccine. They said they're going to have million, hundreds of millions of doses. The president came out in the Rose Garden the other day. They're going to have hundreds of millions of doses. All these things are, are being made so they can be ready. But if they don't pass the phase one, let's, let's talk about this real quick. First is animal studies, okay? Then after that, you have to go through phase one. That's when they have a few people in the study and you give them the medicine to see if it is safe and if they die or not. That's what they do. Phase two is when you say you give it to a little bit more, a few more people, maybe 80, 90 people, and then you see if it actually works to check for the neutralizing antibody. The problem is we don't even know if they if it makes the presence, it has the presence of the neutralizing antibody. We don't even know if the neutralizing antibody is going to be enough to protect you from the, from the coronavirus anyway. That's the whole other piece of this. And then you get to the phase three, that's when you got thousands and thousands of people in the study, safety and efficacy. And by that time, dude, it's March. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the fastest we've ever had was four years. The fastest, and we, I mean, and, and this is, it's called warp speed for a reason. I would just warn that we need to just slow it on down and, and do the things that actually got us to the point where we are now, meaning the numbers are going down. But I will say one more thing, Fred, can I say this? Um, mm -hmm. The reason why I'm driving around, I'm seeing everybody back in restaurants just drinking and having fun and all this other kind of stuff. But the reason why this is happening is because you got to remember there's 320 million people in the United States, right? And then you only have 90,000 people that died. And I don't say only lightly. I mean, it's a lot of people. But that means one out of every like 4,000 people know somebody that died. But you know about 100 people that got it and were fine, so that means you're just back out at the restaurant thinking it's no big deal because you didn't really know someone who died. So this is going to be a real problem. We need to look at our number three weeks from now because I'm foreseeing that we might see another spike. So this is Memorial Day weekend. 
Businesses exactly. are opening up, lack of social distancing, that has to go along with it. Um, how concerned are you about what's going to happen this weekend? And we probably won't know, if I'm not mistaken, for a few weeks or a few months down the road. Yeah, it'll be close to like four weeks, you'll know. And, I'm, you know, as we opened up, just as a matter of fact, you, you, you saw just the other day in, in Korea, they had to shut down a whole school district because they had another uh, outbreak. So it's not unheard of for this to, to happen. I, but you, you have no idea how, um, how wrong I hope I am. I want to be wrong. I never want to be wrong, but I want to be wrong that that the herd immunity is going to take over and it's going to be summertime and the virus is going to start going down and everything's going to be fine. I'm just concerned that we're doing this a little bit too fast. And as we do it, the numbers will go up and you'll see it in about four weeks. And uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend is not going to help anything <laughs> at all. Well, we're, we're planning on staying in and ordering out. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Look, that, 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 that's, that's your best bet. That's and, your best and washing bet. our hands and tell them to leave it at the door. All right, uh, Dr. Corey A. Bear, uh, Chief Medical Editor for us from New Orleans. Thank you so much as always, sir. Be safe. I, I, I can't wait to get back to Florida so we can do this in the studio. I miss you. We're waiting on you. Miss you too. <laughs> All right. You too.